Good evening from Smoky Mountain Homestead. I'm going to be canning dry beans. These are pinto beans. And the first thing I'm going to do is wash them real good, probably two or three times, and then strain them. Get anything out that doesn't need to be here, any type of irregularities or wrinkled beans, just discolored beans. We're going to take all that out. And then I'm going to soak them overnight, probably around 12 to 18 hours. And that's what's in the the ball canning book and that's according to the USD recommendations as well and I'm also going to measure them out because I'm guessing somewhere maybe two-thirds a cup will go in a pint jar and I'm wanting to do 10 pints so after I get them all cooked we'll see if that equaled out correctly if not I can change it up a little next time I'm just going through these beans right now and just removing the ones that I don't want to can and I found a few pieces that were split and some discolored ones and I'm just removing those. So I've just soaked them a few times in my bucket here and drained them just to get any kind of dirt or rocks or anything like that that's left out of here. Now these beans have soaked about 15 hours so it's the next day and they've swelled up quite a bit from yesterday. And I'm just going to wash over them real quick. And the next step is going to be putting them on the stove. We're going to bring them to a boil. And then we're going to do a, a low boil for 30 minutes and cook them. Okay, I'm going to put them in my pot here. And then I'm just going to fill water over them. And then they're headed to the stove. All right, I'm gonna cover them till they start boiling and then I'll time a 30 minute timer and let them cook. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and I'm filling my jars. I have warmed my jars in the oven. I put them on 200 for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna ladle the beans in there and it's recommended that you leave an inch headspace so that's what I'm gonna do. I hope that it's not gonna swell too much more. I could have left a little more space but I'm gonna go by what the book says this time we're gonna go with one inch so wish me luck. Now I've got the beans filled in the jars and I'm gonna ladle the juice in there and I'm gonna put it also to the one inch mark. Okay, so I have filled up my jars and I have wiped the rim of my lid, my jars and I have kept my lids in simmering water. I use the Tatler lids so they recommend that they are in simmering water along with the gaskets. And I'm just going to put them on and these lids go on very loosely. So when you put them on, you put the ring on and as you spin the ring, once the jar starts spinning, you stop. So it seems very loose, but I've had really great success. All right, they're out of the canner and I'm fixing to tighten the rings and here's the final product. They look amazing. You guys have a great day.